Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem minimum distance between two numbers. And this is an easy level question and this is the problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks. And uh, yeah, and the company tags are Paytm and Amazon and the topic tags are arrays and data structures. All right, so let us go through the question. It's a pretty easy question to be honest. So you're given an array A of N elements find the minimum index ba uh, base distance between two distinct elements of the array x and y and return minus one if either x or y does not exist in the array. So putting things very simple. So x and y are the two numbers that are given in the question. All right. So if in case you do not find x or you do not find y then return minus one. All right. So and if you found x and y, all right, if you found x and y, and if there are multiple instances of x and y, look out for the minimum distance between any one instance of x and between any one instance of y, all right. So we have example one and two over here. We'll see that in brief uh, uh, later. And you can even find the code to the right side. It's a pretty easy question. I hope that makes a sense, uh, makes some sense to you right away. So your task is to complete the function mindest, which takes the array a and three integers n x and y as input parameters and written the minimum distance between x and y in the array written minus one if either x or a y does not exist in the array all right so written minus one if either of them does not exist and the expected time complexity is o of n and auxiliary spaces o of one so n goes up to 10 power 5 and all the elements uh, maximum value can go up to 10 power 5 and x is not equal to y all right so x is not equal to y so there might be uh, you, you people might be thinking that if x and y are the same then the minimum distance could be zero itself because my x and y both of them are same so the same uh, element is repeating uh, like i can just point my left and right pointers to the uh, same element so that the minimum distance is zero so that is not possible here uh, your x is not equal to y all right so that's clear cut instruction given to you uh, okay so let us go through the example test cases so here in the example one the array that has been given to us is one two three two all right and x is equal to one x is equal to one so what are the indices that we can found uh, we can find one zero okay at i equal to zero we can find x is equal to one and what are the indices that we can find y equal to two and that are i equal to or let me assume j equal to uh, one and j equal to uh, three all right so this is uh, zero this is one this is two this is three all right so we have got i value we have got j value so what is the minimum mode most distance like i and j for this particular pair so for zero comma one what is the distance between these two that is one minus zero that is equal to one and from zero for zero comma three the distance is three minus zero that is equal to three and what is the minimum among these two minimum of one comma three is actually one and that is the reason one is the answer all right so that is the reason one is the answer i hope you people understood so we have calculated that we have uh, seen the instances of x equal to one so that is only at i equal to zero we have seen the uh, we have found the instances of y equal to two and that is happening at j equal to one and j equal to three and now we are trying to take the minimum most possible like minimum distance between these two so minimum distance between i equal to zero and j i equal to, like i i and j all right i are the instant i indicates the instances instances of two uh, uh sorry instances of one right and uh, j indicates uh, j indicates this instances of instances of uh, what is y 2 all right so this is x and this is y great so that is what we are doing so coming to the example 2 example 2 we see that they are asking for the value of x is equal to 42 and y equal to 12 so both of them are not existing in this array both of them are not existing in this array so that is the reason we return minus 1 all right we return minus 1 if in case we even find let us assume this array that has been given to us as 86 39 90 67 84 66 62 and 42 let us assume you have x in your array but you do not have y even in that case you'll be returning minus one all right let us assume you do not have 42 and you have only 12 like you have y in your array but you do not have x in that case also we return minus one okay we need we need both both 
x and y all right both x and y is what we need in the array great now we have understood what is uh, what is the actual output that we need to give uh, to the required question great so what is our approach how are we going to do it very simple uh, reasoning like very simple approach uh, nothing much to deal in this so i'll just erase this first so let us do whatever that that's been asked us asked to us in the question right like uh, what are they asking us to find the instances and find the minimum distance among them right so let us let us just do that all right let us just do that so for, let us uh, go through the example one itself so the array that has been given 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 2 now whenever i find my particular value of x in the array i'll be putting my left pointer there okay i'll be putting my left pointer there so here the array is 1 2 3 2 and the indices are 0 1 2 3 so first instance itself at the very first point itself i find 1 all right i found my value of x what is x x equal to 1 y equal to 2 so don't uh, forget this okay so as uh, at the very first point at the very first index i found x is equal to 1 so i'll be putting this left to be 0 all right i'll be putting left to be 0 and coming to this and now uh, at the second iteration oh okay, uh, sorry second uh, in like at the first index at the first index i found the value to be 2 okay so array of 0 i found that value to be 1 uh, array of 0 to be 1 and array of 1 array of 1 that is i found the value to be 2 okay now that is actually equal to y right so my array of 1 is equal to 2 and that is actually equal to y so i'll be putting my that value to right okay i'll be putting that right value to be 1 and now once i have got some value to left and some value to right initially we'll be having left to be minus 1 and right to be minus 1 all right so that indicates that we haven't found any element we haven't found any element of any instance of x if left equal to minus 1 and we have not found any instance of y if right equal to minus 1 okay only if left is not equal to minus 1 that means we have found some instance of x only if right is not equal to minus 1 that means we have found some instance of y all right so once we do it we will be updating left to 0 and right to 1 because at 0th index we have found the value of x at 1 at first index we found the value of y now because left is not equal to 1 right is not equal to min, uh, sorry left is not equal to minus 1 right is not equal to minus 1 that means we have found some instances of x and y so now we'll be calculating the distance now we'll be calculating the distance that is minimum of initially this distance like distance or answer so i have uh, represented it uh, as answer so that is initially this is int max all right int max the maximum value possible so either it will be uh, uh, so i'll be uh, updating my answer with the minimum so answer comma absolute value of y minus uh, x all right, uh, or right minus left okay right minus left right minus left all right so this is what i'll be doing so once it's done okay once it's done i'll have updated the value of answer now i'll go to the next part so now i've come to this again i see that this is not my particular value so i'll not be updating right or left and now again i see here i find a 2 here so i'll be updating my right to 2 now uh, sorry 3 now all right i'll be updating my right to 3 and again i'll be finding the distance or the answer so right now the answer will not be changed because we have found this to be the least in the before case that is 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1 so this is less than 3 minus 0 that is equal to 3 all right so my answer would remain 1 and that would be the final answer for this particular case great so as we are moving further as we are moving further and in any case we have find a, a, our x or y we keep updating it okay we keep updating it's like putting two pointers left uh, and right all right putting two pointers and whenever we find it we are updating it and trying to take the minimum most possible between any two combinations of left and right so we are moving from left to right all right we are moving from zeroth index zeroth index to n minus 1th index all right n minus 1th index and we are finding the distance between any two possibilities of left and right great any two possibilities of left and right so left indicates instances of x is equal to uh, x and right in indicates instances of y that great that's what we need to keep in our mind and that simplifies our approach so this is the thing so very basic code initially this is the uh, uh, like we are initializing our answer with int max and left and minus 1 right with minus 1 that means that we have not found any instance of x and y so if array of a, a of i equal to x then i'll be putting my that particular index into the left and if a of i equal to y i'll be putting that index into index value into the right and if left not equal to minus 1 right not equal to minus 1 that means we have found some instances of x and y we'll be taking the 
minimum of answer and absolute of left minus right and finally if answer is not uh, if answer is equal to int max that means we have not found there are three cases first case either either x is there x is there and y is not there y is not there and second either y is there or uh, so yeah like not either this is not the correct word so x is there and y is not there uh, y is there and x is not there x is not there uh, both x and y are not there both x and y are not there so these are the three cases in all these three cases my answer will not be updated it will be in max itself so in that case i'll be returning minus one else i'll be returning the answer great so this finalizes our answer this dilutes our solution to a very simple approach just a simple iteration calculating the left pointer right pointer all right and finding the distance uh, like finding the gap between those two at each and every possible case of left and right there might be several cases possibilities of left and right so at each left and right we are trying to find the distance between them and we are making uh, taking the minimum most possible among all the possible distances between the left and right instances okay very simple approach so uh, we will even submit the code for your reference and it's it's going to work uh, we have already i have already checked it and uh, yes it's taking some time uh, Okay. Uh, might be some internet issues uh, never mind so for your uh, references the code in java and python and c++ have been uh, you know uploaded in the github and those particular links are there in the description so kindly check it out so we ju we'll just leave it there are some network issues it it's going to work for sure uh, believe me uh, so yeah that's it for today's video thank you for watching stay tuned